Did you know that only 7% of our viewers are actually subscribed? We love creating content for you and want to keep doing it, but we need your support to grow our channel so we can make ends meet. So, if you enjoy our videos and want to see more, please consider subscribing and liking our videos. Thanks for your support. Hi and welcome to Cycle Maintenance Academy. I'm Arek and in today's video we're going to have a look at different types of headsets. Ok, are you ready? Then let's begin! Two main bike headset types Bicycle headsets are available in two main types, threaded and threadless. Threaded headset A threaded headset is a classic bicycle headset that have a lock nut at the top that screws onto a threaded steerer tube on the fork. This is used to tighten the bearings, making sure that there is no play in the headset. Threaded headsets are typically being used together with a quill stem that insets into the steerer tube and is secured with a bolt. How to measure a threaded headset Threaded headsets come in two sizes, 1 inch and 1 and 1 8 inch. To determine what size is on your bike, you can follow these simple steps. Remove the stem. Remove the lock nut. Using a vernier caliper, measure the outer diameter of the steerer tube. If the measurement is approximately 1 inch, 25.4 mm, then it's a 1 inch headset. If the measurement is around 1 and 1 8 inches, 28.6 mm, then it's a 1 and 1 8 inch headset. Parts of a threaded bike headset Threaded bike headsets usually consist of the following parts. Fork crown race Caged bearings Bottom headset bearing cup Top headset bearing cup Caged bearings Top headset bearing race Lock nut washer Lock nut Threadless headset Threadless headsets are the most common type of headsets found in modern bikes. Unlike threaded counterparts, threadless headsets do not require threads on the forex steerer tube. Instead, they utilize spacers and a threadless stem to secure the bearings. To identify a threadless headset, simply examine the top of the headset. If there is no lock nut present, it indicates a threadless stem configuration. Threadless bike headset types Threadless headsets divide into four categories. External, semi-integrated, integrated and tapered. External cup bike headset. External cup headsets have cups that are pressed into the frame's head tube, just like threaded headsets. They come in two common sizes, one inch and one and one eighth inch. To determine whether your headset is an external cup headset, locate the bearing cups that extend beyond the frame. How to measure an external cup headset? Remove the stem. Use a vernier caliper to measure the outer diameter of the exposed steerer tube. If the measurement is approximately 1 inch, 25.4 mm, then it's a 1 inch headset. If the measurement is around 1 and 1 8 inches, 28.6 mm, then it's a 1 and 1 8 inch headset. Parts of an external cup bike headset For an external headset with caged bearings, these may include Crown race Bottom dust seal Bottom caged bearings Bottom headset cup Top headset cup Top caged bearings Top headset bearing race Compression ring Spacer 
For an external headset with seal bearings, parts may include Crown race Bottom sealed bearing Bottom headset cup Top headset cup Top sealed bearing Compression ring Dust seal Semi-integrated headset Semi-integrated bike headsets, also called Zero Stack, provide a clean and streamlined appearance, since the bearing cups are not visible from the outside. Semi-integrated headsets are pressed into the bike frame's head tube, just like external cup headsets. However, unlike external cup headsets, they don't require cups to be pressed in from the outside. Instead, the bearing races sit directly inside the head tube, hence the Zero Stack name. To check if your headset is semi-integrated, take a look at the head tube. If you see protruding lips on a head tube, then it indicates a semi-integrated headset. Parts of a semi-integrated headset A semi-integrated headset with caged bearings is composed of various components. These may include Crown race Bottom seal Bottom caged bearings Bottom semi-integrated headset cup Top semi-integrated headset cup Top caged bearings Top seal Top bearing race Compression ring A semi-integrated headset featuring sealed bearings usually consists of Crown race Bottom sealed bearing Bottom semi-integrated headset cup Top semi-integrated headset cup Top sealed bearing Compression ring Top seal Integrated bike headset Integrated headsets offer a sleek design by incorporating sealed bearings directly into the frame's head tube. To find out whether you have an integrated headset on your bike, look for a smooth head tube without external cups or lips. Measuring integrated headset bearings To find out which size bearing is required for your integrated headset, first check the sidewall of the bearing. If there is no information on the sidewall of the bearing, or the information is covered by rust, you will need to take these measurements. Inner diameter To measure the inner diameter of the bearing, use a vernier caliper and position its jaws at the widest point inside the bearing. Outer diameter For the outer diameter, place the jaws at the widest points outside the bearings. Depth The depth of the bearing refers to its thickness. Outer bevel angle of the headset bearing Inner bevel angle of the headset bearing Integrated bike headset bearings typically have beveled edges on the inside and outside. The most common angle is 45 degrees, but some may have a 36 degree angle. Sealed headset bearings might have different angles inside and outside, for example 36 degree at the top of the bearing and 45 degree at the bottom. To measure the inside angle of the bearing, you can use a set square or something with a 90 degree angle. Place the corner of the set square into the bearing and see if the walls touch the inner edges completely. If they do, it's a 45 degree angle. If they don't touch fully, it's a 36 degree angle. To measure the outer angle, you'll need to find a corner with a 90 degree angle. Then. Put both bearings together so that the outer bevel angles touch each other. If they fit in the corner, the outer wall has a 45 degree angle. Tapered headset A tapered headset refers to a type of bike headset where the steerer tube of the fork has a larger diameter at the bottom and gradually tapers down to a smaller diameter at the top. This design allows for increased strength stiffness and responsiveness, especially in the lower portion of the headset. 
Mixing Headsets Mixing headsets refers to components from different headset systems on the same bike. Just like in this example where the semi-integrated bearing cup is fitted at the top and the external bearing cup at the bottom. If your headset doesn't move smoothly or it makes a creaking noise, then it might be a good time to replace it. Our video here will help you to replace a headset easily and find a compatible replacement. Thanks for watching and I hope that you found it useful. Let me know in the comments below which headset you have on your bike. If you want to support our channel, then hit subscribe, like and check our Patreon website. Thanks!